What's up, everybody? Drum roll, please. I forgot about that part. So, welcome to another Brutal Age video. This is Easy, Easy Street Gaming. This is on the new artifacts. We got four new artifacts that we can get. Um, I'm going to show you how I got what I have. This is on a second account, also named Easy. And basically, what I did was I didn't have many partners, but I had six. I got 64 times 100 on on the gems. So I'm going to use some of these gems here, and I'm going to spin, see what I can get with, with some turtles. If I get some, if I get a five star, that'll be fantastic. If I get a four star, that is not one of my targeted four stars that I have to use for something else. Then I will turn it into uh, one of the artifacts. You have to use. Well, I'll, I'll get into it a little more. I've actually got each one outlined and a, a brief little description on each one of them right after this part. I don't even know how long this is, uh, but basically, this is um, this was I think two days ago, and I spun about I think I spun twenty golden turtles, trying to trying to see what I could get. And if you notice too, all the partners aren't here. You can't get Cha Cha Cha. You can't get Bape. You can't get a, so some of the big partners. You can't get by spending golden turtles. You're gonna have to get them a different way. I'm sure everyone knows that already. But you can get a lot of three stars. <laughs> so right away, you see the gold. So we we know I'm good here. I know I'm gonna get at least one four star. And starts off with a red scarecrow, which at level 44 he's sensational. Also got a blue drum beater, red, uh, not, not red, green drum beater. So we got three four stars. So now what we'll do is we will go and sell these, and you can sell them by clicking on the partner button, which is on the right hand side of your home screen. And once you click on the partner button, you'll see that little blue emblem come up. The blue emblem is kind of it's that interface for the selling of the partners. Uh, or the partner reclaim so now what we're gonna do is you, you see all the, these are all the four star partners I have and you notice that I'm not gonna give away some of these because I really need them for the third level awakens so don't feed away your 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 blue double blade girls or your red archer girls because you know those are big um, those are big upgrade materials for your third awakening but as far as the drum beater I'm either going to feed those to Red Drum Beater, or I can use them to make an artifact someday. So, here's what I've got. I've got one of the Brutal Pendant, I think is what it's called. And then I've got two of the Horns. I believe they're called Brutal Horns. Or Therese Horn, I, I don't know. <laughs> but I'll tell you in a second okay so it's a brutal horn I have a level 1 brutal horn and here's the stats on the level 1 brutal horn it's gonna give you some basic stats it's gonna give you 30 extra hit points plus 1 attack plus 1 defense 1% 1 on critical rate so you get that automatically and each time you take an action it has a 20% chance to heal itself by 30% on top of all those other skills and now you'll see what the next level will be so if you upgrade it from level one to two his hit points go up to 60 the attack goes from one to two plus one to plus two the and, and th there's all the stats you can read them i'm not going to read them all for you yeah and of course you can see all this stuff in your game interface just like you can here i just wanted to show just a basic um look at everything so you'll be a little more familiar if you haven't seen it all yet you'll be a little more familiar once you get to it it's only a little 20 second clip, so so it's not a long time. Now here's level 2. By level 2, oh, that, that was level 2. Here's level 3. Level 3 goes up a little bit more. Looks like it's looks like the hit points are going up about 30 every time. So now it's up from 90 to 120. Uh, the max on this is going to be 2100. So you can get up to 2100 just basic hit points. It's not part of the skill at all. It's just hit points that, you're gonna, that will be added. To your basic hit points basically <laughs> and so re remember as you're looking at this 
at for level four, it's 120 hit points that will be added to your partner, whichever partner is using it. Uh, plus four in the attack, plus four in the defense, plus one in the critical. And it looks like that's the same thing. Oh. Now I'll switch over here to the Brutal Seal. You get the Brutal Horn and the Brutal Seal. You get those for from selling one partner that's a level four. Or four star. When you sell the four star partners, you get these gold um, tokens, I guess they are. And when you sell the three star partners, you get uh, silver. And the gold is what you're actually going to use to start... Uh, another artifact and you you don't get unlimited artifacts it looks like you get 10 of uh, you get 10 of the brutal horn you get 10 of the brutal emblem and I think you only get one of the of the book and you think I think you only get one of theirs pen uh, pen necklace uh, we'll see in a second so now if you go on to Brutal Age's Facebook page, and soon, if you go on to the Brutal Guide, which we are in the process of making, we as in me and whoever's in my head, <laughs> it can be pretty scary in there. Uh, yeah. So anyway, we have we have the Brutal Guide. We're in the process of making it. We're gonna try to get all the stuff added to it. There's a ton of updates and upgrades that we have to add to it. Um, so it's it's taking a little time to come out, but I want it to be complete when it comes out. I don't want it to be half-assed. Okay, so now I need some more soul. So I had a bunch of soul from uh, none other than the Chaos Swirl, which is coming up next video. Chaos Swirl. If you haven't, if you're on a newer server, you don't have Chaos Swirl. It's a new interface that everyone has been waiting for. I've heard some good and bad things about it, but it's definitely new. And it's pretty long. I think the first uh, round is 75 attacks. You have to, do, you have to beat uh, something like that. I don't know. We have to get 75 points. Um, we're going to cover that in the next video. I have, I have a bunch of stuff recorded on it so you guys can, who is, people that have never seen it can take a look at it. So now I decided because of the attributes on that, on the, I don't know, I forget if it was a pendant or not, or the, or the horn. I decided to go with the drum beater. You, you can only add these to five star partners. You have to have them upgraded to five star. They don't have to be max, or you know, there's no requirement on what they can, what they have to be. Okay, so now look, check it out. I've got all four of the of the artifacts and, and a brief explanation of each one. We're gonna start off with the the Unity book. What I'll do is I'll break it down, kind of like they did on Facebook. I'll explain the stars, the levels, what the, what the stars will do to it, what the levels will do to it, and what partners it should go with. Um, we'll start off with the stars. When using a one round CD skill, it has an X percent chance to heal the lowest teammate by 12% of their own max hit points. X goes by the stars. It starts off at 15% for one star and goes all the way up to 75% for four stars. So if you have a four star, it would be 75% chance to heal the lowest teammate by 12% of your max hit point. Uh, for the levels, it ranges from 1 to 50, and right there you can see uh, it starts off at level 1, which the hit points are at 30, attacks at 1, defense 1, critical rate damage 1, and it goes all the way up to 3,000 for the hit points, 100 for attack, 100 for defense, plus 10% on critical rate, so that's pretty big. And there's all the heroes listed, it looks like, um, I don't have time to read them to you, so if you want to see if you, uh, if you have a hero that, that they listed there on Facebook, just go back and pause it for a second. <laughs> Next one is Thera's Necklace. These are the, these are both, I think, cost 150, so they'll cost you 15, I think 15 four-star heroes to get those two, so then they've got to be strong. So for Thera's Necklace, the stars at the end of each round, it has an X percent chance to reduce the CD an additional one round. X is 10% at one star, 56% at four star, so it varies between 10% and 56% level. It ranges from one to 50. Uh, at level 1, the hit points are plus 30, attacks plus 1, defense plus 1, critical rate damage plus 1. At level 50, it's plus 3,000, attacks plus 100, defense plus 100, critical rate damage plus 10. And there's a list of heroes. Uh, looks like for green, you have Desert Prince, God of Earth, Dragon Man, for red, Zira, Ursa Huntress, Wolf. And for blue, you have the Black Shaman. So you have a bunch of decent heroes that would benefit from Thera's Necklace. Next is the Brutal Seal. Uh, benefiting from the Brutal Seal 
In red would be the Colonel the Boar, drum beater, the guitarist. In green is the Fierce Beast and the Boar. Uh, looks like the Colonel and Fierce Beast are in blue are all, would also benefit. Uh, the Brutal Seal for stars. Each time the re it receives... Alright, let's go back. Each time it receiver a critical hit. See, I can't spell type or anything like that. So, every time it receives a, it receives a critical hit, it has an X percent chance to heal itself by 8% of the max hit points. X is 20% at 1 star, 75% at 4 star. Uh, for the levels, it ranges from 1 to 50, level 1, hit point 30, attack plus 1, defense plus 1, critical rate damage plus 1. And then it goes all the way up to 2100 at level 50 for hit points. Attack plus 70, defense plus 70, critical rate damage plus 7%, and that's at level 50. Now in uh, Facebook it says level 5, but I'm assuming it's level 50 because it can't go that far at level 5. Last one, the Brutal Horn. Stars, each time it takes an action. And now by it, it's you. Each time that you're wearing it and you take an action, it has an X percent chance to heal itself by 30% of its own attack. So whatever you attack, 30% of it, and the X factor is... For a level, for a one star is 20%, four star is 75%, and so two and three star are right in the middle of there somewhere. As far as the levels, it ranges from one to 50, and I won't read that off, you see it right there. Level, uh, the hit points, for example, are start off at 30, end at 2100. Critical rate damage starts off at 1%, ends at 7%. And the partners that they suggest in red is Colonel Boar, Ursa Huntress, Wolf, in green is the Desert Prince, God of Earth, Dragon Man, in blue, double blade girl, black shaman. So you have all kinds of, and, and as far as this goes, just think anytime that you have a very large damaging hero, uh, one that can do 10,000 damage in one shot, well, there's going to be a percentage chance that they can get 30% of that damage back in hit points. It's kind of reminding me of the Ian War pattern. So kind of quick look at the artifacts, uh, kind of quick look at how you get them, how you upgrade them, how do you use them. And we will update you as we get more information with the five star uh, training in the five stars. This was just on the four and three stars. So, hope you enjoyed the video. Here's Zerk in red. Till next time, it's been easy. Take care, everybody. Yeah.